Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And, and welcome to episode 10 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. Yes. So, been away for a week. Mm-hmm. But we have been watching, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we saw Raw live last week. We did. Which is funny because I thought I didn't watch Raw at all. <laughs> that, that's my favorite part because I was watching, uh, when I was watching Raw, I'm like, did I watch this last week? I mean... Most of it was pretty forgettable. Mm -hmm. The fact that we got to see the uh, B-Team versus Revival broken up into two matches that week, yeah. that was... Exciting. Yeah, and we got to see Baron Corbin versus Bobby Lashley for what felt like an eternity. Yeah, that was bad. Um, yeah, outside mm -hmm. of the uh, main event, it was pretty much a oh, show yeah. to easily be written off. Exactly. But I mean, Finn versus Roman was good. Mm -hmm. um, and then the cash and tease and the shield come back together. That was good too. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that, was, that wasn't bad. Yeah. Um. So I guess we should talk about this week's episode of Raw. Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, moving you know forward. Yeah. Um, we are going to Evolution. Yes. We did at, get tickets. End of October. Yes. So that is something. So we learned something on Monday though. We did. Yes. What's that? Canadians do not like Roman Reigns. Um. Most WWE fans don't like. That's all right, not all right, true. Most is, all right. All right. All right, fair enough. That that was the worst reaction that he's gotten he, in a while. Especially since they moved him back with the shield and he's been getting progressively better. Mm -hmm. um, so it was like majority booze this time mm -hmm. where it's been oh, pretty yeah. much like it, at, at worst 50-50 recently. Um, I mean, granted, we knew the direction was going to be Roman and Braun, Braun regardless, mm -hmm. but since it kind of... Definitely showcase that that's going to happen at Hell in a Cell. People yeah. were not happy. Mm -hmm. um, I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know. Oh, I mean, the opening segment was decent, and then they bad. had to bring Dolph Ziggler up. And, uh, well, it's just yeah. like, I don't know. I, I have this tough time just taking him ser you know, as we, like a serious threat. Which is funny, because he has McIntyre with him. I know. Well, I'm just singling I, him I know, out I know for you're now. talking about yeah. just Ziggler, but it's funny. And it, it, like, it's the damnedest thing, because like, I want to like him. I, I enjoy his matches, and mm -hmm. it's just... Yeah. He's... It just feels like ripoff. That's that's really what it is. I guess that's true. I, I, like, I feel like he's just so many gimmicks put into one. It's fair. Yeah, that's that's my only. Yeah, it's stripe. true. And it's with the character. It's not him. No, no. Yeah, no. Because like I said, I enjoy him wrestling. Um, so yeah, they I, just book him. Yeah. Poorly. So we got a main event of Roman and Braun teaming up. We mm -hmm. learned earlier on that they will indeed have a universal title match at Hell in a Cell yes. because that is Braun's cash in. Mm -hmm. Kind of sad that we don't get the element of surprise with the cash in, but it makes Braun sense kind for of. Braun? show you know said that tell you know said that 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 was what he was gonna do he wasn't going to uh he's not a coward yeah i guess that is true yeah. well that's what he said no i know yeah i know I he's know. gonna he's gonna cash in like a man granted but he was going monster. to cash in after you know somebody already wrestled the full match hey you know like it's that. still it, it's not a surprise though that's true so at least you know you knew about it ahead of time fair so enough it's not that bad fair enough um but yeah, so that set up that main event, um, and then you then... know we'll, we'll just talk about this right now. What the main event? Yeah, yeah, we'll just skip get over. that out of the okay. way. No, we'll come back to other things. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously, Braun got the tag into the ring, mm -hmm. and he decided, "Screw that! I ain't going in. I'm mm -hmm. gonna let Mick Ziggles beat beat down Roman." Mick Ziggles that threw up the DQ. Mm -hmm. And then Braun came in and beat up Roman. Yep. And everybody thought, hey, why are they turning Braun heel? But this is really just setting up three on three for the shield versus yeah. mm -hmm. Braun. And yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think this was a let's let's make Braun a bad guy again thing. No. It's more like, OK, we need an excuse to have Roman be with Dean and Seth. And they're obviously needed to be whoever um, whoever roman was feuding mm -hmm. and whoever would work also with those right. two so right. it kind of made sense and i'm glad that they went about it this way rather than us having the roman bobby lashley nonsense we got for multiple weeks where they kept tagging together yeah. and that was the thing mm -hmm. um, this one had the blow off immediately right. exactly instead of going on for a while so, so that did make sense yeah absolutely because i was thinking either roman and braun destroy them 
mm-hmm. and then they go they on face their way. Off. Yeah, yeah. Or like something like this would happen. Mm-hmm. And this was obviously the the correct way of going about it. Because they're advertising for the Super Show, right? The three on three match. I didn't see that, but I also didn't see a whole lot right you watched the hulu version yeah oh yeah and this is going to be my last week watching it live until it becomes <laughs> must see tv yeah which it um, certainly is not because i i i mean we saw corbin versus balor again mm-hmm. this had this to one be was the f- actually the man yes versus uh mm-hmm. versus balor which it, it was funny because what three quarters through the match corbin goes out of the ring grabs the microphone and says this match is good oh he lost right Wait, no he won no no no. oh yeah, yeah right he rolled out of the oh, ring no, and no, said, no 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 balor got the chair i think right? did he i don't know i wasn't For, paying attention okay, i think balor got a left the ring got a chair and then mm. corbin stole it from him and used it on balor yeah so corbin and lost right. and he's like oh, oh yeah that's, that's right. right i forgot to mention this is a no dq match mm-hmm and that's when it he restarts hit him with the match. And, it's, yeah. So I'm not sure. I I thought Balor got the chair for whatever reason. It didn't make any sense, but that's what it seemed like. But yeah, this is not doing any favors for anybody. No, if anything, it's making Finn look better. I guess. Like it, it's dumb, but you know you are letting Finn like kind of use Corbin to step on him. Without it really being too I mean, obvious, the demon should have just been it. That that should have been. Oh no, it should have been the end. Yeah, yeah, yes, absolutely. But still, they like to draw things out. Somebody posted a fake tweet last night during SmackDown where they had posted that WWE had said see Finn Balor debut on Two Hundred Five Live tonight, and I was like, this this can't be real. This can't be real. And I had to I had to check the page because knowing WWE, you never know. I guess it's true. You never yeah. know. Yeah. Um, um. But yeah. You know what? Are the I mean to get off topic but technically still on topic because it has finn balor in there Mm -hmm. um because he got his rematch for the universal title last week when we went um i figured that's what they were going to kind of do with braun uh, not braun i'm sorry roman is make him the opposite of brock and everybody that never got their rematch was going to get their rematch for the title which would eventually lead to goldberg coming back i was gonna say does that mean that goldberg is gonna come back because he's literally the only other one owens didn't get a rematch did he I guess maybe Owens not. dropped it to Goldberg. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. I mean, granted. <laughs> what has the title been around for? Two years? Two years. Yeah. There's been five champions. Yeah. Which is really funny. Because, like, when uh, Angle is insisting that Brock was the worst one ever, mm-hmm. when you had... Uh, Balor had it for less than 24 hours. Right. Kevin Owens was afraid to defend it. Yeah, Goldberg well, had it for, like, three weeks. Yeah, between what, Fastlane and WrestleMania or whatever Mm pay-per-view that was. And and then Brock had it for a year and a half Mm -hmm. almost. And defended, what, four times? Yeah. So there was no good champion, technically. It's true. I guess the only good one was probably Owens. I guess. And he was relatively... Well, I mean, that's generally because Kevin Owens is very entertaining. Mm Mm-hmm. Which, uh, he answered Seth Rollins' open challenge later on in the evening. Yes, he did. Um, They put on a very good match. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was moments when I thought, hey... Maybe they're going to put the title on Kevin Owens, but it really didn't make sense to. No, because uh, Seth just, had just, just won, won it back. It. Yeah. So, and I think you know, since Roman had deemed the Shield the workhorses, right? That was annoying. Yeah, that was really annoying, actually. I feel like that's just going to be a thing where we're going to get Seth probably doing open challenges and stuff like that. I guess, but Seth kind of already did. That's how he lost yeah, to Dolph Ziggler to begin been with. And the workhorse of the WWE. Yeah. Well, because I think it was a few years ago, like, Dean mm-hmm. had the most matches, like, I think yeah, when yeah, he yeah. was champion. Something like that. Or the year that he had won the champion. Probably. I think it was 16. Yeah. Where he had the most matches of any performer in the WWE. So, obviously, the three of them are the the ones that they use the most it's true but like to call themselves like anything more than anybody else public not like in kayfabe like that's kind of stupid in my opinion <laughs> so do it all for roman um very <laughs> and uh, obviously it's been going on for a while but in a very similar light to what had happened last week with ronda rousey mm. and how they were making it seem like she was so much better than everybody else when mm-hmm. stephanie was trying to yeah yeah um and that's kind of like what they do with roman on a regular basis like they put him on a pedestal it's true and he instead of doing what ronda did and kind of like 
like separated herself from it. He's kind mm. of embracing it. Right. Granted, again, not his decision, because it's not like he goes out there and does. There's whatever. no freedom. It's yeah. all yeah. You stick to the script. So and that's it. It's not. It's not like it's his fault. But and that's what they're doing. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. Mm-hmm, pretty much. That's so. the WWE motto. So it's kind of dumb. But yeah, um, Owen said a beautiful moon salt. I mean, missed it. But get kicked in the face. Yeah, and but... that's led to Rollins hitting the stomp, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, Kevin Owens sat in the ring and said, "I quit," and left. Yep. So, what do we think is going to go on here? Um, well, if anything that has happened recently has been any indication, mm. he'll miss next week, and then he'll come back like nothing happened. Well, he's being advertised for that match with John Cena on the Super Show. I in thought Australia. they already canceled that. Did they? I thought they canceled that weeks ago. Oh, I thought it was still advertised. Nope. Oh. That okay. match, I think that match was scrapped, like, immediately. Oh, I did not know that. I think they announced it, and then, like, a, two weeks ago, they said, uh, no. Hmm. I could be wrong. Is it Super Card? Uh, no, it's show. just the Super Show. You could just put, um, could have put versus John Cena. Yeah, yeah, even yeah, yeah. If, I guess that's true. But I, I'm almost positive they said that match isn't happening huh. anymore. I don't remember if it was Cena's fault or... Oh, look, go up. John Cena versus Kevin Owens. No, it was a champion versus champion match. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Match yeah. Cena, yeah, so Super Showdown. John oh. Cena's match changed. Yeah. Huh. Because I, I don't remember... The Shield and New... John Nunes. Cena will team with Bobby Lashley to face Elias and Kevin Owens. Yeah, that was the thing that I was just pointing yeah. at. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was something else. Oh, no. That's dumb. That makes sense. Because I, I, I knew the match as it stood wasn't mm-hmm. the same. I guess that makes sense. Whatever. Um, so I guess that means Elias and Bobby Lashley is going to continue. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, they had they stopped for a little while, right? What happened last week? I last week, Bobby we Lashley there. fought... Um, yeah, Corbin, and Corbin. Elias just came out, right? Yeah. Oh, no, he fought Kurt Hawkins last week. Yes, that's right. I forgot How could we that. forget that? Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, yeah. The, the Elias and Trish Stratus segment was pretty good this week. I was yeah, it wasn't. Uh, I walked out of the room for that, and I actually watched it before on YouTube, and I thought it, I thought it was decent. Yeah, I mean, granted, it was Trish, you know, saying in a month the WWE oh, Evolution yeah. mm-hmm. thing, and I was like, ah, oh, man. You yeah, it was it was very forced, but mm-hmm. at the same time, again, but the interaction between the two was good. Yeah, yeah, and the fact that obviously they, it's not like they have a choice; it's just how they're it's written yes um so it seems that part of the reason for the evolution pay-per-view is because apparently they're going back to saudi arabia in november Mm -hmm. so well i think we had known about that already yeah but i don't know if it was confirmed or not yeah yeah. i think it's been confirmed i think november 2nd is the date something like that that's like less than a week later yeah oh yeah there's so many shows and we have two weeks we have hell in a cell Mm -hmm. that and then there's the super showdown Mm -hmm. and then uh, then Evolution, then I guess that show. Yeah. So is that going to be like the greatest Survivor Series? Is that what they're going to call it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think there's been a name for it yet. Yeah. Um, yeah. Although they kind of hyped up the greatest Royal Rumble thing for a while, didn't they? No, it, it kind of came out of nowhere after Romania, I could have sworn. Well, it was like two weeks ago. No, I'm no. pretty sure that they had talked Did about they? it before that. I could be wrong. But there's been so much it. wrestling since then and now that... It's hard to remember. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Little details like that. Um, oh, yeah, we got to see. Oh, I guess they cut uh, the Revival versus the yes, B team. Yes, they from most the certainly did. Blue version. I believe that it's going to happen again next week, except it, this is going to be a title match. Okay, so funny, f- fun fact that we mm-hmm. learned about this last night. Apparently, Raw has three teams. Oh, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. But SmackDown has like 10 of them. Mm-hmm. So. It makes no sense. Um, also, <laughs> I love that they had, what did they call it? The triple, triple something on both shows. It wasn't a triple threat. It was like the triple, triple event or three events. They showcased oh, three different oh. events throughout the night. They did that on Raw too? Yeah, they did that I on Raw. I didn't see and it for Raw. And B-Team and Revival was one. I think Alicia Fox and Natalia was another. And uh, I don't remember what the third one was. Was but... it just Roman Reigns? 
Maybe yeah, because AJ Styles AJ it was, was just one, one of them. them. Yeah. And Brian. Oh, I think Brian. Elias might have been the third oh, okay. one. Yeah. Because Bree and Brian being there was mm-hmm. another one. Yeah. So, um, but I didn't notice it for Raw. It could have been there. Yeah. I just didn't like pay attention to it. Um, I guess they're just. Yeah, that's. Uh, I guess that kind of adds something. To I mean, it. yeah, except when it, if, if the, the stu- team in the revival or yeah. one of them. If the stuff is actually interesting, it'd be better. Yeah. Why are the clones on SmackDown? Ugh. They should be on Raw. They've they been would fit on... perfectly in the Raw tag team division. They would, but it doesn't change I the know. fact that they were on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, they're still not utilizing tag teams on Raw. I mean, like, it's been terrible, mm. but, I mean, you still got the Ascension. I mean, they did, you know, show up on Raw to face Bobby Lashley in a handicap match. They did. Which they lost, but that's mm. not a surprise. No, so. no, no. Um, Remember when you thought there was a chance they were going to actually win the tag team championships about yeah. a year ago? I mm-hmm. think I think it was at Fast Lane. Yeah, when they did that. Uh, the torna- not the tornado, the gauntlet match. Mm-hmm. I think they did for the tag titles. Was that at a pay per view or is that on? It was. A it was at pay per view. Yeah, I'm like we thought they. Could yeah, because they were the last win. team, they right? Were the last team yeah. to come in. But no. <laughs> Whatever. The um, SmackDown tag division was very bad back then. I mean, yeah. He's well, everything about Rhino SmackDown was, was bad for a while. Yeah. Um, all right so also we had uh ronda rousey come out with natalia to watch oh no natalia faced alicia fox yeah no mickey james came back yeah um so are we gonna see that three person or the six-man tag at some point um i don't i already know that it's gonna be bellas and ronda rousey versus the riot squad which is so dumb and then next week it's gonna be the riot squad versus the bellas right yeah so i don't understand but whatever nope um we learned that bliss is gonna challenge ronda for or get her rematch at hell in a cell wait another question Hmm. why is brie on both shows that's a very good question i don't have an answer for you makes no sense nope whatever yeah uh because at first i'm like oh i guess they'll just have nikki go to raw and brie go on smackdown but then they said it was going to be a tag match so i'm like something something's off here but i guess be with her sister one night and her husband the next i night. guess that makes sense so split custody yeah i guess so. um you missed so much time that we're gonna put you on both shows mm-hmm. gotta get that exposure up exactly um yeah but you know whatever at, the, at this point <laughs> really does it matter who's on what show does it really matter? No, but it is nice that things don't really intertwine. So now I could watch Raw after SmackDown, and it wouldn't, you know. I guess that's, that's true. That's really you're not it. watching a recap. Yes, that, yeah, because yeah. SmackDown was unwatchable mm-hmm. back when it was just a just, recap of Raw. Yeah, basically. Yeah, it's true. Um, Taped. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that was bad. Mm-hmm. That was bad. We got Dean versus Jinder. Yeah, very exciting. I mean sure i don't know Dean's, I, Dean just, still looks like he's gonna turn heel it looks like it's he looks happen. angry he is which angry. is good mm-hmm. um but yeah dean looked uh looked good it was nice seeing him back mm-hmm. beat gender obviously because gender is now just a jobber again yeah and uh which is fine because mm-hmm. you know he's honestly he's doing a better job now than he was at originally Oh, on raw because now he's got a character mm-hmm. and he loses as it's opposed true. to him just coming out and losing. yeah uh-huh. so I mean, you know, he wouldn't have had that world title run if he hadn't tried to uh, turn Randy over. Mm-hmm. Trying to get that sexual harassment yep. lawsuit on him. Yep. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. Oh, my. D- there was a tweet, I think, that Randy sent out that before, I guess, he left for SmackDown or wherever, that him and his wife had a quickie. And then, so they, like the comments below were like, "Oh, did he shake his hand afterward or something like that?" And it automatically blocked by Randy. It was just, it was just one of those. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, nothing's gonna come of this. No, no, no. no. Um. Anyway, are we uh, ready to move on to SmackDown? I think so. Okay. Um, SmackDown was much better than Raw, of course, in my opinion. But That's generally, again, how it's been going? Again, that two hours. I'm just gonna beat it. I guess. I, I, st- I still don't think that that's the reason, because Raw was plenty entertaining no. not too long and ago. It's funny, because I was actually falling asleep during SmackDown, but not because it was bored, just because I was tired. That'll do it. Yeah. But, I mean, granted, it was during the main event, but... Well, and, you know, the funny thing is that the last two weeks, it's been the tag team championship match and then the women's championship mm-hmm. match to that's true. end the show. Uh, so, I guess, well, I'm just going to skip over the opening segment for a minute. 
Sure. Uh, do do we just not know how to book any tag team like matches? I guess because it seems like SmackDown always has a tournament to determine oh, the number one it's, contender. It's very lazy. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm like. And I mean, Raw match- the same shit over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, that match wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't bad. Uh, you had the club, you know, and they're always fun to have around. I mean, the right team went over, at yeah. least this it was, week. It was the bar versus the club versus the Cologne. Mm-hmm. And they had an... Because at first, they said there was going to be a triple threat match. So I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, it'll be the bar against Sanity versus the Usos, right. obviously. Yeah, that that was weird, the way they mm-hmm. set everything no, up. Oh, I know exactly why they did it the mm-hmm. way they did. All right, okay. go on. So they had this match, and during the match... Well, they had the New Day on commentary, too, which was kind of silly. But yeah, because we didn't get what we got last time with the no, New Day Because they on weren't commentary. really that involved with it or no. anything. They didn't have anybody to put over, yeah. We're gonna put over the colognes. They haven't been on TV for a year. Yeah. So they said during the match that there's going to be another triple oh, threat match to determine who will face the winner of this match. I gotcha. So I'm like, why are they doing it like that? And then as soon as the match went to, they said they were gonna announce it as soon as the match is over. Mm-hmm. Like, there's got to be a reason. What is the reason? So. Um, the bar eventually wins. I think the Colognes did like a backbreaker on um, yeah. Luke Gallows, and then I, then they the, hit a double backbreaker on yeah. I think Anderson probably. Uh, maybe. And then um, he always takes. The then the bar comes in. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. <laughs> bar comes in. I, they probably do the the white noise thing. And no, then, I don't. They did something. Yeah, they knocked the Colognes out, and then yeah. Well, they got rid of the Colognes. Oh, I think he just pinned him after the backstabber. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah I okay, think that's I what think happened. Sheamus tagged one of the colognes after yeah, that yeah yeah this, him and cesaro threw both of them out of the mm, ring and, and i think he up. just pinned them it might have been gals now that i think about it no that's that's what i thought yeah, yeah yeah um so that match ends the bar wins they'll face the new day they stare down the new day blah 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 or not they'll face the new yeah. day they'll move on to the next round mm-hmm. so they go backstage and it's paged with lana rusev and Aiden english so i'm like that's why they didn't say anything. Mm-hmm. They didn't want people chanting Rusev Day the entire time. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, because that's what would have happened. Mm-hmm. Because if they said there was going to be Rusev and Aiden English in a match, though they would just start chanting Rusev, Rusev Day. That's the whole fair. Time. That's fair. I didn't so even think about it that they, way. They made the match Rusev Day versus the Usos versus Sanity next week. And the winner of that match will face the bar. The bar. Mm-hmm. So I would imagine it's going to be Rusev Day going over. Probably. And I mean, and then I I feel like Aiden's going to, we're still going to get that turn. I feel like they just want to swerve everybody. As stupid as that's going to be. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, it doesn't. But I just feel like that's what they're going to do. Yeah. I mean, they shouldn't. No, they they should not. All right. So I guess now we can talk about the opening segment. Yes. So I guess the New Day came out, right, to celebrate their fifth title win. Yes. And then all of a sudden, King Booker comes out. Yeah. Oh, my God. And I was like. Why is he in the king gear? Yep. You know, I was like, okay, we've, we've that, seen that part king, didn't make any We've sense. seen Booker T for a long Wild time now, now. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh man, I miss Booker T on commentary. He's I, so much better than Coach. Coach is just stupid. Well, no, Coach is bland and lost. Booker T is flat out dumb. Right. There's a difference. <laughs> You know, like, sometimes you think Coach isn't, like, actually paying attention to what's going on. Oh, I know that. Booker T is, like, fully cognizant of what's going on in front of him, but his ideas and his opinions are all just Rel- yeah, dog shit. Yeah, That's yeah. just what it is. So, but that gives good banter between him no, and No, it's Corey because Graves, Corey Graves so. hates him, and he wants to kill him. So, but that's not true. Uh, uh, it seems it a pretty big legit. I no, I'm, it's I'm not. News. I'm no. That's that's Booker T being mad at Corey Graves. We don't know how Corey Graves feels about true. Booker T. Yeah. There's a difference. We know how Corey Graves feels about CM Punk, though. Well, yeah, he's not not friends anymore. Not. Um. So, but yeah, Booker T comes out and he gave uh, he gave Xavier Woods and um. And Kofi, Kofi like titles, mm-hmm. and Big E didn't get a title, and he was very upset about it. Even it though big. I guess his title is big, <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh. Oh, so I had heard about this or read about it. The New Day has a new thing with their uh, with their gear. I don't know mm-hmm. if you picked up on it. I did not. So, and you remember how we had mentioned that he was pulling a Seth Rollins Kofi with the gold in his hair? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently. Kofi wears blue now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Big E wears red, and um, Kofi, uh, Xavier exactly. wears 
um, orange or yellow. Okay. Kofi is Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm-hmm. Uh, Xavier is Tails. Mm-hmm. And Biggie is Knuckles. Interesting. It it makes sense. It does make sense. Yeah, because he's but... got... That it, that wasn't me coming up with it. This is something I had heard. Oh, interesting. So the, I think there's actually something to it, because it makes mm. sense. Because 90% of their gear is based off of video games it's true. to begin with. So. Which um, they had mentioned. I knew about it previously, but Xavier... I guess Up Up Down Down is the highest subscribed YouTube page by a celebrity or a video game YouTube yes. page by a celebrity. Yeah, I actually have an issue with them phrasing it like that because what were you going to say? Any once you have that much notoriety, already, uh, celebrity and you you have to be. Yeah. That's what a celebrity I is. Yes, that is fair. It's a well-known person. But I guess it's not known for other things than that. That still is kind of dumb. It's a stretch, but it, hey. Yeah. So yeah. If they want, I have no problem congratulating him on his subscriber count. Mm-hmm. But the fact that they call people who obviously have followings like that right. non celebrities is a joke. That was my point. Yeah, I guess. So, but I think their point was somebody that's already a celebrity mm-hmm. that they made this after they yeah, got their fame. That's true. But I like I disagree. But I I can understand that's, that's why good. they. Yeah why they think it but anyway book t was there to welcome the new day to the five-time champions club mm-hmm. five time five time <laughs> five time five time five time it was, it was different yeah it wasn't bad it no. was just like you said perplexing for yeah. a minute and then I, it was like ah. i laughed because i'm like since when did kings wear sneakers Hey. Booker T was obviously mm-hmm. wearing stingers. Yeah, they all did spinner roonies. They did, except for Biggie, Biggie who just kind of just got spun late. around by <laughs> Xavier and Kofi, which was also funny. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, their announce table is fantastic, and they brought out the Stanley Cup too, a replica Stanley Cup. Yeah, but that's good, good stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is completely off topic, but I was on Reddit earlier on the uh, the wrestling page. Mm-hmm. And somebody posted a clip of, uh, probably from 98, I would assume. It was the Godfather and the Undertaker having a match, and the Godfather was trying to offer the Undertaker his hose before uh, the match. That sounds familiar. <laughs> it was just the most ridiculous. Like, how we've gone from that to where we are today. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I was dying laughing throughout the whole thing. That's hilarious. Because the Godfather was like, I know they call you the dead man, but all of you can't be dead. <laughs> <sighs> and then there was somebody else had posted a video in there. In the thread uh-huh. of, I guess, a promo that The Undertaker had cut on The Godfather calling. or Because I guess they were, they were supposed to have a match. And mm. he said, I'm going to face The Godfather and his slimy hose. And it was just, the, funny, it was just the funniest thing. But That's I mean, bad. as like terrible as it was, it was still hilarious. Oh, yeah, it's still funny. And I mean, just- wrestling's not supposed to be... Serious? parallel with the real world no. it's supposed to be its own mm-hmm. element yeah, and that's true. you know I, I feel like that's a well, big thing is the comedy isn't there like it used to be no it's just laughable that's really what it yeah. is now it's, it's like this is who booked this shit this mm-hmm. is terrible mm-hmm. with certain things I yeah mean, i mean comedy we do get some on smackdown with our truth he is hilarious yes he is very funny um i wonder if they're ever going to actually do anything with him and carmelo or it's just going to continue to run like this i i eventually because i mean carmelo's once she's out of the title picture what's she gonna do it's true I, because we know what the women like when's the last time we saw oscar have a match yeah i don't know what the hell's going on. i heard she was like upset with something i think that's i don't know because there was rumors a couple weeks back that she had i guess walked out of smackdown or some nonsense like that but yeah. i guess they weren't true um well because she showed up for something like right after that well because originally it was scheduled i guess it was being advertised that Oscar prior versus carmella. to carmella yeah before and, SummerSlam. but that we, never happened right. so mm-hmm. that's when i guess that everybody thought up. yeah um but whatever i think at some point carmella will lose a match and our truth will run out and mm-hmm. then ty will Pin it, yeah no ty will try to stop him uh, or whatever and because you remember when he brought the ladder to the royal rumble that was awesome <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was watching the best of clips some someone recently with uh, R Truth and him so and like good. Triple H, and he's like, oh, "You got all those guys behind you. I got these guys." It was just <laughs> good stuff. Yeah. Um, so Naomi has lost to both the Iconics in yes. the last two weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, when was the last time we saw her on TV prior to this? After she won the uh, Fallopian Tube Trophy? Yes. 
right? Well, she was with the Usos a little bit after that. Yeah, that there was, was that weird angle with the Bludgeon Brothers. Yep, that and was that stopped. I know, and that, um, that was it. Does this mean that next week Asuka's going to come and help her? Maybe. That would be the only option. Maybe. Because I, I would imagine they're trying to do something. You would hope. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, it's just it, Asuka's booking is just mind-boggling. Well, you know, after she, she lost was undefeated. The yeah, I know. She is. I know. But I mean, that's that's what they do when you do streaks like this. You book yourself into a corner. Mm-hmm. I mean, at least she didn't get tased to lose the title like uh, Goldberg did, right? To Scott by Scott Hall. I think that's how Kevin Nash beat him. I don't, honestly yeah, have I no idea. That's, I think that's what happened. Uh, I remember <sighs> bits and pieces of WCW. But <laughs> You're specific, probably better off to remember things that way. Specific things I no. absolutely do not yeah. remember. Like, I remember people. I remember vague, like, memories of events. Mm-hmm. But, like, any, any like, regular, like, thing or something like that that happened, no yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, There's a lot of shit. Yeah. There's a lot of shit. Um, we got... We got Andrade C and Almas versus Daniel Bryan somehow. I, I still cringe every time Daniel Bryan holds his head or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, because you it, assume It that. looks like he, mm. he's like, oh, here we go. It's going to yeah. happen. So, um, but this it, was a good match, though. Yeah, it was good. Uh, I, I guess this was one match that Daniel Bryan did want. He did want to face Oh, Andrade. I'm sure. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Um, I like what they did with The Miz. They had him watching in the back mm-hmm. with maurice and she like whispers to him and then the, oh he goes like oh that's a great idea they go they go to the ring for a distraction <laughs> and then daniel bryan doesn't even wait for the miz to get involved he starts attacking him right well daniel bryan had the yes lock on andrade right and then zelina got up on no the that was later yeah well i'm just miz saying was already out at that yeah point. yeah yeah but i'm saying that's that's how the finish happened. Oh, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Brie pulled her off, mm-hmm. and then Maurice came out and pushed Brie into the turnbuckle, and that's when the Miz attacked Daniel Bryan from behind. Yes. The only thing I didn't care for is, I don't know, just the whole end segment with Maurice holding Brie Bella back in the corner. It just looked oh, poorly yeah. telegraphed. Yeah. That, well, that was about it. Yeah, I was going to say, I like what they did with the exception. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I honestly don't care about the, the way it ended, ended. But I did like the way that the Miz waited... And then he's mm. like, oh, it's a Picked good idea. Spot. Yeah. Didn't really do a whole lot. And then eventually he ended up doing something. Mm-hmm. So I, I, that part I liked. Um, and, you know, it, it adds to the feud. Yeah. It's good. And wow. it's good to see Bree and Maurice getting involved as well. Oh, no, because absolutely. Yeah. Largely with um, the build up to uh, John Cena and. Nikki versus, um, which is really funny that it's That's just the now. It, yeah, yeah, I thought um, about that too. Daniel Bryan and Brie is that Maurice really didn't get physically involved Mm-mm. at all. No, but now she is. Yeah. So that uh, yeah, that part yeah, I liked. Yeah. So um, and it and I was thinking when um, uh, Vega and Almas came out, I'm like, you think we're gonna get like a mixed tag well, mat, um, t- a title at some point? I don't. Not now. I mean... But, like, it's really shaping up right now. It's true, yeah. We have four different teams on SmackDown. On SmackDown. Right. On Uh, SmackDown. And this... Single show. Yeah. This gives you an opportunity to, you know, utilize more people in different Mm -hmm. areas. I mean, you can just put two people together. Hey, they made gel. Remember, uh, who the hell was it? Well, you got Dana Brooke with Apollo Crews. That would work. Right. Yeah, yeah, but I'm thinking from the Mixed Match Challenge, which... Um, oh, they had Sasha and Finn, who yeah, were great. Yep. Oh, Elias and Bailey were good. Yes. Um, Carmella and Biggie. <laughs> that was weird, it was but weird. it worked. Um, there was one that... I forget who... Oh, it was uh, Mandy Rose and Goldust. That was great. That was, that yeah. That was good. Yeah. So... And, I mean, I enjoyed every episode of yeah, that. Yeah, the Mixed Match Challenge yeah, was it great. It was fun. It um, was nice. It was, what, 25 minutes, mm-hmm. and that was that. You yeah. got a match, and... So yeah, they they really could do something because it was with fun. It. That's yeah. just really what it yeah. was, and I mean, uh, yeah, they would probably ruin it. Yeah, absolutely. So, I guess that's fair. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Car- uh, Charlotte had a good interview with Renee. Yeah, because um, Carmella well, had I'm, one I'm, as well, but it was kind of boring. Yeah, but I was just thinking a lot of people seem to be comparing uh, Charlotte to Roman Reigns as you know she's the female version of Roman that kind of. She always got the championship. Granted, Roman hasn't always had the championship, yep. but just always Getting in the main, always in the main event picture, right? But then listening to Charlotte, I'm like, no, it, it, 
No, well, she's got a different... She's got the hard work part, whereas Roman kind of just says that he's the man, mm-hmm. so he should win. Yeah, but so. I mean, I, I guess... I don't know, because Roman's stuff seems more force-fed. Like, his lines seem more... Yeah, I guess it's like true. Like, they were give, you know, also, written Charlotte's for probably him just, rather than Charlotte... I was going to say, Charlotte's probably just better at, you know, reading them. Yeah. So... You know, she is, you know, the daughter of Ric Flair. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, no, absolutely. Because, like, you know, he he was known as, like, a uh, talker, whereas Roman's... Was his dad a wrestler, or was it just his uncle? I don't know. Uncle, I, I can't remember the whole Samoan yeah. heritage right now. So, you know, the, the Samoans aren't traditionally known as... Except for one. You're talking about oh talker. well the rock yeah okay i'm sorry <laughs> i mean it's it's really easy yeah. to not associate i guess him with that's them. true so i'm like huh yeah. like rikishi no so did you think this samoa joe aj stuff was a little weird oh, like, it's like horrible like, like, like this like i enjoyed everything up until this week and i was just like i don't know now, it, the, it just felt as awkward. soon as as soon as he started like doing the the wendy thing it got last bad. week i thought it was funny i got a kick out of it the, there's a difference between bad and funny that's true because it's it's been bad the whole time i don't know, I don't know. it's been bad the whole time all right I'll, I'll okay take word for it. samoa joe mm-hmm. said after he had aj in the coquina clutch mm-hmm. That daddy went night night. I know. He said That's those words. He said those words. It may be funny, <laughs> but it was. But bad. it's bad. <laughs> so just again. All right. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. So for no amount of time has this been good. It can be funny, not good. Yeah, I guess that's fair. So. All that, right. You made your point. Yes, I did. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, this time Samoa Joe pretends to call Wendy. And first, clearly whoever was on the other side, obviously there was no one there. Yeah. But clearly he made it seem like the person he was calling had no idea who he mm-hmm. was. Right, right, yeah. And then he said something about saving him a plate at the barbecue <laughs> and then responding as if the person he was talking to was actually going Ooh. to do it. As if they were already people who talk to each other. All right, all right, yeah. So, yeah. it's bad. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. But, yeah. Yeah, because, um, I mean, it's not like uh, Nakamura Joe from NXT where it was just about them. Aggression. Thinking. Yeah, yeah, that There's was... There's a difference. I know. But that was so good. Yeah. But you had that extra... I, I mean, Joe, I think, is very good when you have that extra character in there. Like, he had, he was able to use Regal to... Yes, Make Regal is no Wendy. No. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Um, so we're going to get a kidnapping angle. When when Samoa Joe loses at Hell in a Cell. <laughs> that. Is I, AJ going to show up at, at his house with a gun? <laughs> it won't be a gun. Nunchucks. It's going to be... What is it going to be? It'll be something really dumb. Uh, whatever. So... <laughs> But all this nonsense is making it seem like Joe isn't actually going to win the title. Yeah, and they're booked for the Super Show as well. Probably. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they made so, that. I would imagine AJ for sure is going into the Super Show. And since the Super Show is just a glorified house show, that means that nothing's going to happen on it. Yeah. So. Most likely. I mean, the only stipulation, I think, was that Miz and Daniel Bryan, the winner, gets a title shot, right? I, I believe know. that was that I, I didn't believe see. that was made. Yeah. So that means that. But um, I'm granted the greatest Royal Rumble. We had we crowned tag team champions. On yes, that, but that was it. That was it. So, and if let's say AJ gets out of the Super Showdown mm-hmm. with the title, right? That means that he's going to have that for the rest of the year, probably. Like almost guaranteed. Um, because there's nothing between there and Survivor Series, and he's just going to face Roman right. Reigns at Survivor Series. So let's. Let's talk about Survivor Series for a okay. second. So right now, it's pegged that it would be Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles. Yes. And that would be a very good match because it was very good when they did say, it, it years ago. it happened a couple years ago. I know. And that was before Roman had really, really improved. Mm-hmm. Um, but that would set up Charlotte versus Ronda. Mm-hmm. So do we and think that Charlotte's going to drop the title to Becky? Well, here's the thing. 
there's also been talk of the four horsewomen mm-hmm. thing. If both of them have titles, whether that it be you... Charlotte or Becky, you can drag the other members. Yeah. You can drag the other mm-hmm. two in anyway. Because I think the other two women of the UFC four horsewomen have started wrestling. They're, on... they're both training. Yeah. And I thought they I thought they've had matches. Oh, on, like, okay. A house they could have. I could have yeah. sworn, yeah. I know I know that uh, Roderick Strong's wife has been around yeah. for a while. And the other one, I think, at the very least, has Strong. been training at the yeah. performance center. Um um, but and, yeah, no, that would make sense because that's obviously a match they want to save for WrestleMania of Charlotte versus Ronda or oh, something. Oh yeah, the singles yeah. match yeah, would yeah, be, yeah. yeah. So I would imagine, while I would very much like to see Becky crowned the women's champion at Evolution when we're there, mm-hmm. I still think that Charlotte's going to be the team leader. Mm-hmm. So even if Becky is champion and Charlotte, you know, is the team leader anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know how they're gonna play that. Up. It's, it's, it's it's easy. You, all you gotta do is have, have a common enemy. Yeah, and yeah. they'll just do what they did with the New Day last year, where they had they the enemy had of um, my enemy is my friend because they had SmackDown invade Raw. Mm-hmm. So you just have you'll just have Ronda Rousey show up on SmackDown and attack. Yeah, Becky or Charlotte, or maybe not even Ronda. Have um. Who is it? Uh, have like Shayna. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess you could. Have just Shayna debut like at the end of October. Yeah. Or the beginning of November. Yeah, I have, mean, we could see her debut at the Evolution. There's been talks that she's going to debut within the next couple of weeks. Because well, every women's title is going to be on the line, right? Mm-hmm. But so. she's not. What? What is the. She might not even be. I know. I going mean, after the NXT right, title. Right. Because I heard that there's chances that she'll get called up and somebody else, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, as soon as next week's Raw. Oh, interesting. So, I would think that a good place for her to debut would be then. Mm -hmm. Have her go to SmackDown, but as a Raw superstar. Oh, okay. Just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think now, I d- now I that we're thinking too far ahead. Yeah, I know. Things. Well, we kind of... I, I know. It was, I was just saying, like, right now this is how it stands because I don't see Ronda dropping the title, nope. so... Nope. She's going to beat Bliss. Mm. She's going to beat Nikki. I still don't know how they're going to make that happen. I don't know. I mean, that's still the rumored main event mm-hmm. is Nikki Bella Which versus makes no sense. Ronda Rousey, but... No sense. No. Whatever. And especially considering what they're going to have that... When is the Super Show? October 6th, right? I think Something so. Like Sounds right. Yeah, because it's a Saturday, it's right? It's a Saturday. And, uh, Evolution's the 14th, right? No, Evolution's the 28th. The- Oh, right, right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think Bound, I'm Bound for, for Glory, Glory is 14th. 14th. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, so it's still a Saturday. That would work out. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Still a lot of time, but possibility for Horsewomen versus Four Horsewomen yeah. would make sense. Yeah. And it would keep with the Survivor Series theme. Mm-hmm. So. It's true. Yeah. And they wouldn't have to try to, like, that would be a Granted, natural that feeling would, one. Yeah, but that, I mean, the whole Raw vs. SmackDown thing wouldn't work, but it, who it really cares? It does to an extent. Yeah. And again,. It's a Survivor Series style match, right? So they could get away with it. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is bigger than any Raw vs SmackDown thing. We're gonna have the mm-hmm. four. Because yeah. technically, it's gonna be, it would be Raw vs SmackDown and NXT, or, yeah. or SmackDown versus you know. It, yeah, it's they'll, gotta, they'll figure something. It's got out all if they kinds of stuff. It. It's going true. On, so. Um, so we'll talk about the main event: Charlotte versus Carmella. This mm-hmm. is Carmella's rematch. Yep. Um, they chanted, "We want Becky." Throughout the uh, match, yes, not a surprise. No, um, biggest baby face female oh, yeah. in the, on Absolutely. the roster, and she's being portrayed as a heel. I yeah. like they had showed earlier her promo from the week before. Got rid of all the cheers, mm-hmm. so all you can hear is her talking. It was, it was a very good promo, but not a. And you know, I don't really care the way she's being portrayed. I'm just glad she's. Yeah, in the spotlight. Mm-hmm. That's really all that. It is just so funny though because that she's being booked as someone who they want to boo. Right, and now I read an article before we did this that said that neither of them are going to be portrayed as a healer face. They're just going to be two competitors that have valid points. That's fine. I can Which, live with that. We talk about that all the time. I know. Um, where it would make sense for people who are you know I know don't like each other, not necessarily one who's a. Like, necessarily a bad guy or a good guy. But, yeah, when, I mean, Charlotte beat 
Carmella, which Obviously. Carmella looked very good in the she match. Had, that was a good match. Yeah, yeah, yeah she, the, the two of them put on yeah, a good match. Carmella together. definitely has improved a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Carmella tapped out to the figure eight. Becky came out huge pop. Mm -hmm. huge. But everyone saw it coming too. Oh, absolutely. So. I mean, it's expected. But that's but it happened after the match. So mm -hmm. you know, well, we weren't I, going yeah. to you know the crap where we'd get another triple threat match for the same thing, and that yeah. would be their way to weasel out of everything at Hell in a Cell. Mm -hmm. So we got it at Evolution. Yep, but. So, but which they, I think if you have Becky win the title at Hell in a Cell, Charlotte gets her rematch at, at Evolution, Evolution, which is fine too, right? And that's how they do it mm. because I mean, that but that's something they do anyway, it doesn't really matter. Well, they Things wanna, don't need to make sense no. for in, in the land of WWE. And, and if Charlotte loses and then wins it back, she'll be an eight time champion. Now. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Yep, crazy, mm -hmm. but pretty soon she'll pass Ric Flair. <laughs> yeah. So and uh, so we got two weeks until Hell in a Cell. Mm -hmm. Oh, we did get Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy. That was announced, right? Yeah, for Hell in a Cell. Match. Crazy that this is Jeff Hardy's first Hell in a Cell match. Um, a little bit. Yeah. I just, just, you know, he's gonna do something crazy. Oh no! What I was gonna say is like he just was never really in that big, big of, of a, a feud, feud that. Yeah, warranted a Hell in a Cell match. Because, like, he had a bunch of ladder matches, obviously. That, well, that was Honestly, I'm surprised he didn't have a Hell in a Cell with CM Punk. Because they had a big feud in 2008 mm -hmm. that lasted, like, the entire summer. But I guess it didn't go until Hell in a Cell, so that's probably why. Yeah. But, whatever. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, I mean, that was, this week we were basically building toward Hell in a Cell. Mm -hmm. like, and two weeks, crazy. Yeah, and again, the... Uh, the weirdo who likes to touch his junk seems <laughs> invested in this feud. Yeah. So that helps. Well, he gets to be the bad guy. Mm -hmm. So it should be good. to be the bad guy. Should be good. Yeah, yeah. No, their segment last week was very good. I enjoyed that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, um, So this match is Hell in a Cell. Mm -hmm. And there was one on Raw, right? Well, the Strowman versus Roman. Is that going to be in Hell oh, in a Cell? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's going to be Hell in a Cell. Yes, yes. Okay, I couldn't remember. Because I think Braun said, you know, Roman, this is one match we haven't done yet. Okay. And it's going to be Hell in a Cell. Okay. So yeah, I think those that, are the only those two. two um, We're going to probably get a women's match in Hell in a Cell. So that'll be probably, Becky and Charlotte. I would assume so, but because they didn't make anything. The, that match hasn't been set no, yet. No, it hasn't been officially made now. Um, so my guess would be Becky is just going to beat the crap out of one of the Iconics that win the number one contendership. Right. Yes. I, I mean, do you need to? It. It. Well, she needs to earn it, right? I guess. Theoretically speaking, and since both of them have beat Naomi recently, it's true. <laughs> I. I know it's a stupid. She's got to beat Carmella. That's what she's got to do. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Or have her beat Tamina. But yes, still think we should get a Carmella R Truth match. No. Yeah, segment get that. yeah some sort of that'd be funny team up or something stupid that just keeps carmella you know relevant mm -hmm. on tv yeah I mean, that's what ty dillinger's doing with our truth yeah. yeah he's riding coattails hey. that's fine hey he's on, um, he's on tv more than the glorious one it's true well it, it should be should shape up to be a pretty good pay-per-view yeah yeah i'm looking forward to it at the very least four or five matches on there yeah and the two hell in a cell matches that are made do make sense. Mm -hmm. um, Braun and Roman, obviously. Yeah. And Randy, Orton and Jeff Hardy. That It doesn't make sense, but it's believable. It's, yeah, it's fine. Because you can tell that, obviously, there's a lot of anger on Orton's side, mm -hmm. and Jeff is, you know, standing up for himself. Right. So, if Shinsuke was a little more involved... Yeah, we didn't see Shinsuke at all this no. week, right? But if he was a little more involved... And that was the reason why Orton kept on getting the upper hand. Mm -hmm. It would make a little more sense. It's true. But whatever. That's what it is. Yep. So, so yeah. yeah that was uh, this week's podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.